Whenever I ask you guys to share the video, do you share the video? Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What do you do? What do you do? Back again, coming through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but Sumi Sue. I'm about to do the do. Listen, how y'all doing? Is y'all all right? Listen, I'm feeling pumped today. Got me a little coffee. Child, I need to be careful with this, okay? Because let me tell you something. When I drink coffee, mm, you see, I can't have coffee. Like, I just cannot have caffeine. Like, they, it just, it don't click. You know what I'm saying? The wires get crossed, start swinging from the ceiling fan. Child, it's a mess. But we gonna do the do today. I just feel, you know what I'm saying? I love coffee. I just can't handle caffeine. Anyways, <laughs> don't be talking too much. That's why it's almost second so ready. Girl, get into the video. So today, I feel like I am going to give you a really sweet, reddish, matte, reddish orange, autumn type of vibe. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, listen, let's just get into the sweet little infomercial while I go ahead and do these brows off camera. Oh, my so first things first, I would like to thank Zilu for sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know, Zilu is basically an eyeglasses company where you can get prescriptive or non-prescriptive glasses. There's something on there for everyone. You have from men, women, and kids. You can get even basic reading glasses. You can get your glasses tinted or non-tinted. You can get blue light cut. You can get regular shades and so forth. This company has a variety of glasses for everyone. Their styles are bold and colorful and best of all, I love that they also have some vintage styles too. So if you head over to the website right now and register, you are able to get $10 off of your first purchase. And if you are a returning customer like myself, you can go ahead and use my code Savannah and get some dollars off as well. Also, if I were you, I would just follow them on social media because they have new releases every single week. I absolutely love this company. I love that they have something for everyone, but best of all, I love that it's super affordable. The website is also very easy to navigate around. So yeah, make sure you check them out. All the information for them will be in the description box down below. So yeah, make sure you check out Zilu. So all the information for them will be down in the description box. Y'all already know how this go. I absolutely love their products. I love their glasses. They're just bomb like and super affordable. Like you just can't lose okay so if you're a four eye like me go ahead and do the do today i have in contacts but i am wearing my non-tested version i wear them whenever i'm wearing glasses because you don't want to be packing tested on top of you don't want to be packing prescription on top of prescription okay so anyways um yeah make sure you check them out all the information for them will be down in the description box so without further ado let's zoom in so we can get with them <laughs> knock knock guess who's coming to dinner fred mr easy mr laser in a bit more Sip some mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like I said, I am going to be doing a reddish, orangey type of vibe. Already did the brows. Let's get into the look. So, for my concealer today, I am going to be using the. I really like the Too Faced products. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm really, you know, testing them out and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna be using warm sand in the concealer. Listen, we need to talk, okay? We need to talk about a few things, cause I am. <laughs> Little old me just out here upsetting the people once again. Like, Sumi, what is wrong with you? Why do you do this to yourself? Ooh, child. Now, at first, I thought I was not going to talk. Let me put the concealer on. Because y'all know whenever I get to talking, child, the makeup gets to walking. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for my palette today, I think I'm going to be using the Ruby Obsession Palette. You know, how, you know how long I've had these? Like, and I have... Girl, let's just get into the video. So, my thumbnails, my thumbnails are just sitting here upsetting people. <laughs> I'm going to take this dark shade right here, and we're going to pop that into the crease. So, my thumbnails are just out here upsetting people. People are really, you know, like, you shouldn't do that. It's insensitive, you know, like, people have issues, you know, and, like, deformities. And so, yeah, I have been on YouTube for almost 10, 11 years, okay, and... I'm not getting the views that I want. I'm not growing at the speed that I want. And I'm going to be honest with you, like, there was a time when I was really struggling, especially in the beginning, because I knew that I didn't have a lot of what it takes to make this channel successful. One, where I am. I'm in Japan. Like, okay, I can't, I cannot keep up with the Joneses from all the way over here. I cannot network. 
I cannot just jump and you see what I'm saying? I, I just, there's a lot of things that I cannot do because of where I am. And I recognize that from a long time ago, like in the beginning, I was super excited. And then when I realized that you, YouTube could become a potential business for myself, you know, and knowing what it takes to be successful, it was like, you're literally committing career suicide trying to do this from all the way over here because there is no way you're going to be able to ride the wave to there's no way to network there's no there there's a lot of things that i cannot do you know like i'm just <laughs> okay i'm all the way over here in japan there's so much things that i just cannot do for example if a new product comes out and i want to ride a wave i cannot ride this wave right away because i don't have access to this product like for example when fenty came out you guys saw the struggle with that i waited i waited a long time one not because i wanted to wait but because i had to figure out what shade i was i ordered so many foundations still didn't even know what shade i was like there's a lot of struggle that goes into me doing my channel i always get asked like what should i do to start my channel yada 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 and i'm just like yo start you have so much at your feet you have so much more than i do all i have is just <laughs> you know what i'm saying i've been doing this for a long time like you have so much more than me you get what i'm saying like all the makeup that i have i have to buy and there's nothing wrong with that but i would be i feel like i would be so much more further along my channel would be a lot more exciting when people come in here if i was on pr lists if you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of things that I just, I, it's not at my disposal. I am trying to get the words out. You see what I'm saying? This is just, that's why you must write your thoughts down. Okay. So there's so many things that I just cannot, cannot do. And there was a time in the beginning when I was so inconsistent, beca inconsistent because among other things that I was struggling with, I was also struggling with, why am I doing this? What's the point in doing this? Maybe I should just go back to teaching English, but I love doing youtube i love making these videos i love the artsy side more so than always trying to sell you something even though the video is sponsored by zilu but you get what i'm saying like i love the creativeness the creative process you know and as you can tell i put a lot into my videos okay so but i've been doing this for a long time girl put on the eyeshadow oh lord that's three minutes oh i'm also going to take that same shade and just run that on the lower lash line because i just like to get it out of the way now you know so even though I have, and I have been doing this for so long, you know, I'm still not where I would like to be. And some of that is not getting out of my head and getting out of my own way and not being as consistent in the beginning. But I just saw all these hurdles and I still, till this day, have the same hurdles. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Like, I am still here, you know, and sometimes when a brand like contact me and they find out I'm in Japan like you literally hear crickets after that like so why should we waste time with her even though that you I mean they contact me because like yo okay we love you we love your work we see you really trying to do to do but oh you in Japan um so we have to pay for shipping for you whereas we can ship this stuff to other girls in the US who have even bigger followings you know what I'm saying and who are out here like we know them you see what I'm saying and they're right here in the US so I can ship stuff to them free you know whereas you all the way across the pond <laughs> okay in another time zone we're gonna have to spend like okay do, should we do that be something like like, mm -mm. like listen you know when you watch those little um, unboxing videos and people are just getting all this PR and it's really great like stuff like that really helps to sustain a channel stuff like that really helps to take the weight off of a creator's back because it takes if you're gonna do this without that it's gonna take a lot more money it's gonna take a lot more time especially if you are in a position like I am okay Everything that you see me have that I bring to you that I try to put on this channel You always hear me say I'm shopping at Beauty Bay. I'm shopping at Sephora. I buy everything that I have for this channel to keep it alive I, I, I do that in order to survive and to keep this job going now Next, I am going to take this little kind of nudish pink shade. I'm going to put that on the lid. It's going to be a really kind of soft and sweet type of autumn type of vibe. Look, you guys know how I like to do it. Okay, so <laughs> let's do that. Now, the hair business. The hair business keeps my channel a float. You hear me? 
they that's where i get my money from you see what i'm saying know your value put your prices stand firm on your prices because these people will try to play you and lowball you okay and make your money and do what you you see what i'm saying so whenever you see me doing these hair videos like i appreciate having that connection with the chinese man <laughs> you see what i'm saying because they without them i literally could not do this channel you see what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, it was super hard. It was so, it was hard to get on, to get recognized by these Chinese people to get these hair business like, because that was the crave and craze in the beginning. And I know people have went on and started their own little businesses, and I think that that is really great. But I just don't want to do that right now. Like I'm really content because I get paid a really handsome sum <laughs> from these hair vendors these hair companies you see what i'm saying and i really like that because it's something that i love and i love it because when i came over here to japan i i didn't know what to do with my hair okay i did i came to japan with kind of relaxed hair it was transitioning because i came with braids from you know i did braids in jamaica and i came to japan with braids in my hair and i did not even think about what am I gonna do with my hair I don't have to worry about that like and then when I got here I was like there's nobody to help me I have to do everything to, by myself there's no salons there's no products so you see what I'm saying and that has literally saved my hair life because I can just corn row it and that's why it's healthy and I you something like I can just hide it and I have all these really really great awesome wigs that I can just switch out so for that reason I still promote these hairs you see what I'm saying this hair company stuff because it helps to pay for some of this makeup it helps to pay the bills it helps to buy the clothes it does everything like I said I have been doing it for a while I know my price is stick by my price and I get paid a good amount of money from that if I was gonna lean only on Google like Google schmoogle mm -mm. I get a you know I get a little bag from Google but it's not like where it should be because as you can tell from my views okay so Okay, so next I'm going to take this red shade over here and I'm going to use that to lightly buff out those edges over there. Yeah, what were we talking about? The hair. So the hair really keeps the channel afloat and I'm super appreciative of that and I'm very comfortable doing that because I love getting free hair. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, hair is life, okay? <laughs> so, you know, I just don't have a lot of things at my disposal compared to a lot of girls who are in the States or in the UK or elsewhere you see what I'm saying like it's just different for me it's completely completely different for me you know I have to fight a little bit harder and these companies are not recognizing me and you know what that's fine too you know I get there when I get there I'm just holding out faith you see what I'm saying and in the meantime in between time I'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing okay I remember when they had you know like right now you're not having that anymore like you know you have eye mats you have w what else is there all the little beauty shows that people could go to and going to those shows are I think a great way to it's a great way to network it's a great way to get out into these companies faces and to meet people and it's just networking you see what I'm saying and they have beauty con and all of those things like that is networking getting out there getting your face recognized like hey hi I'm over here I'm trying to do a thing are you gonna help me out you see what I'm saying when I upload a video on a good day like the video is popping I don't know what happened you know what I'm saying like YouTube decided to push in a little bit more a recommendation or whatever I don't know if it's the title the fun I don't know what makes the video pop like I will get maybe 50 to 60,000 views in the space of maybe two weeks and I'll look at him like okay that video did really really well on average I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 100% transparent with you on average 24 hours I would make 5,000 views okay lately I have seen that number go up to like 600 7,000 not 600 oh my god 7,000 to 8,000 and on a really good day, like in 24 hours, if my video hits 10,000 views in 24 hours, I'm like, yo, that video did good. So my numbers are not through the roof. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just not through the roof. It's not where I want it to be. And I'm not complaining about that, but at the same time, I am going to do everything I can in my powers, whatever I can do to help my little channel out. Whenever I ask you guys to share the video, do you share the video? Do you help your girl out? No? Okay. <laughs> so, I say all of this to say, 
that's where the thumbnails, the crazy thumbnails are coming in. It's 100% clickbait. It is not meant to get on anybody's nerves. Now, I feel so stupid having to address this because at the same time, I know that, listen, I'm gonna call it like it is, okay? We, you don't know who is behind that computer typing to you, okay? And who is calling you, whatever they're calling you, and you see what I'm saying? You just don't know who that person really is. You don't know if they have a mental issue you get what I'm saying? Like the ones, the ones of you who are clicking and everything is okay, you get it. You get it, you laugh with me and you continue to love me and support me for it. It's not hitting a nerve. And I appreciate that you get me and you understand, okay? YouTube is a game. It literally is a game. And if you don't know how to play the game, okay, you're gonna get left behind, okay? And there's been a long time that there's been a, you see what I'm saying? Like I did not want to play the game. Like why do I have to do that in order to get views? Or why do I have to do that? You see what I'm saying? Like why do I have to do these things? But you know what? It's a game and if you wanna be on, I like I said, I don't have all these other things. So I need to use as much as I can to help my little channel get to where it's going. You see what I'm saying? You know, and if it's getting on your nerves, I apologize, but I have to do as much as I can to get my videos seen, to get my channel seen. It's up to me at the end of the day, even though I ask for your help and say, oh, share my video, please. You know, cause if you, sh if you watch my video and you share it to this person or that person or that, you see what I'm saying? It grows, duh, you get what I'm saying? So I have to do as much as I can to help my little channel and a very outstanding and you know, eye catching thumbnail is very, very important. And I have played it safe for many, many, many years. I was like, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to do you see what I'm saying? But now I'm loosening up, I don't care anymore. I don't care how people see me, how people perceive me. I just don't care. I'm just going to be sue me. You see what I'm saying? And that's another thing. Like so many of you have noticed that I have gotten rid of a lot of my older videos. One, I was going through so much mentally and I felt like I was so, it was, what's the word? It was, it was, what's the word? Ooh, ooh, girl, this is what you get for living in Japan. I'm literally forgetting English. I kid you not. It was so robotic, okay? I didn't know how to free up myself. I didn't know how to be, you know, just sue me, the goofy sue me, because on a, on a regular, I'm, I'm goofy. I'm, I'm legit stupid. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you, okay? Put a wig on me and a, a red nose and we good to go. I'm no longer like that because I have let go of so much in my, my personal life. And my husband sees it and he's like, this is what your viewers need to see. You need to go on camera and, and you need to be this Sumi, you know? Don't be that girl back there, okay? And then I started to get a lot of um, notifications or warnings from YouTube because a lot of those videos had music. I was taking music from off of YouTube and putting it on my videos and they were like, if you, you don't have to delete the video, but basically the money is going to go to the person whose song is on the video. And I'm like, I'd be damned if you, listen to me, Bruno Mars. <laughs> you already rich. What you, what, why you just can't let me have this little bit of change over here, okay? So at first I put everything on private and I was like, all right, you know what? I'm never gonna upload these things again. So I just took it off. I didn't care with my views. Cause I was, at that time I was like nine, nine million, 10 million views. Okay, like we can start from fresh. Okay, that's, you know, okay. So I had to get rid of all of that. I got rid of all of that and getting rid of that, I noticed a huge boost in my channel. Like it just started to soar overnight. I was like at a hundred and something thousand and it just started to really, really grow. And I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna see 200,000? Yes, I did, okay? Now with the thumbnails, oh Lord, is we still talking? We ain't even put on no makeup. Okay, I'm gonna just talk this part and we're just going to, you see what I'm saying? Because I cannot do both, clearly. And then we're gonna get into the rest of the makeup, okay? So, what am I saying? Yeah, so I got rid of all of that and I saw a huge boost in my channel and I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but in my mind I feel like, yeah, because now my channel is all authentically mine. Like, I'm not ripping off anybody, I'm not stealing from here and there, you know what I'm saying? Like, the music is legit. So, yeah, I'm trying to do everything that I can to help my little channel and having a little bit of fun with the thumbnails is not meant to you know, hurt anybody's feelings. So the thumbnails are gonna stay. I'm going to wrap this up right here, okay? The thumbnails are going to stay and if it hurts your feelings or anything like that, that is not my intention. I am literally playing a game here, okay? I am playing the YouTube game. We all know that really catchy thumbnails gets 
clicks and I am not going to lie to you since I have done that in the space of three weeks I have grown up to 600 subscribers in that time frame that is a lot for me my views are going up to 15 to 17,000 in 24 hours so you can take from that what you want okay yes it is clickbait but I'm playing a game here and if anybody looks at the before and after clearly they would understand <laughs> this chick is straight up clowning people right now okay it's not it's all in good fun and I feel stupid having to address it but when you do come here to this channel I want you to have a good time I want I don't want that to be the focus if that is what brought you here and I know hi it has brought a lot of new followers okay a lot of new um, tribe members and a lot of you like oh my god you know the recommendation the thumbnail you clicked and you're enjoying yourself that's what it's all about so I use the thumbnail to get you in here and while you're here I hope that you enjoy learn something have a good time you see what I'm saying so that's basically all it is okay and like I said I feel stupid having to address this but who chat some people got mental issues okay so you just need to okay so let's move on and let's get into the look now okay oh that was a lot that was six minutes girl this video gonna be long I'm not gonna be long though because this is gonna be a very simple look so let's finish off the makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to blend that red into the burgundy and then we're gonna come in and do the next step and move on Lego okay next I'm gonna take honey by Fenty and we're going to do we're going to set our brow bone with this okay so I hope you guys understand okay I'm just trying to help myself get along in this this YouTube game because I want the success too you know what I'm saying I don't need to be huge huge but you know what I'm saying like <laughs> okay with anything you do you want to be successful in life so I'm just trying to play the game and get ahead and I kid you not like 600 subscribers in three weeks that is huge for me because I don't my channel doesn't grow like that if it was growing like that I would be further ahead okay but it's growing it's moving you know and these little changes that I see that I'm doing it's helping me and I need to help myself anyway girl if your little feelings were hurt I'm sorry but I need to help myself okay okay so for my lashes today I'm gonna be using the Aliexpress lashes these are a little bit shorter these are the E E11 Viso Viso lashes I'm gonna link them down below so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on off camera and let's zoom out <laughs> we gonna show out okay. For my moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Tatcha water thingamajiggy. Let me go ahead and take this thing off. I just want to love you. Okay, for my primer, Milk Hydro Grip. I like this, so it's sticky and it's good, so I like it. Okay, for this next step, I still get a lot of questions about this MAC paint pot. So, what you want to do, if this is not working for you, is probably because your moisturizer is a little bit too heavy or you put too much in this area. Now, I'm using a very light moisturizer, as you can tell, you see what I'm saying? So, if it is not working for you, what you want to do, very simple, is just take some a, a tissue and just pat that area just to soak up any excess product. That way there's not too much laying right there because if it's too greasy, you know, this is not going to work as well. That could be, that is the only thing that I can think of why this is not working for some of you guys. Okay. So you should touch it and it shouldn't feel slippery and you see what I'm saying? It should just feel supple, like a little tacky, but not slippery and all of that good stuff. Okay, so while that is sitting there drying, you can move on and do other stuff before you apply your foundation, especially if you're gonna be doing this one layer thing that I love. You know, you just go in, put on your concealer and your contour and all that good stuff and let it dry and it should work for you, okay? So I'm using the Too Faced Warm Sand and we're just going to lay it on, create the shape that we want and my trusty dusty black opal foundation stick in suede mocha i absolutely love this product it's just everything it's just so good for the perimeters of the face for me not necessarily in the center because it is a cream but on the perimeters it works great like it's no worry okay okay so Y'all like my little top knot, my little ninja bun all the way up the top there. Girl, I feel super cute. 
Okay. So I'm just gonna go in and blend out the contour, just patting it out. Okay, for my foundation, I'm going to be using Maple, also by Too Faced. And I'm gonna go for one and a half pumps today. And first, I'm gonna distribute it with my finger in the areas that I want it. And to help blend this out, I'm gonna take whatever is left on the back of the brush and just start to pat in between the contour and the highlight. With this, you want to pat, okay? You want to pat, you do not <laughs> want to swipe. Pat, pat your foundation, people. Pat it into the skin, pat it into the pores. That's how you're gonna get that really smooth look. If you swipe, it's easy to swipe over your pores. You some say that, especially if you have enlarged pores, and that's how you're gonna get that really smooth look. Pat it in. Hey, papito, we are going to be singing songs. Look at he. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and deal with my concealer, and I'm also gonna use a brush for this. And this is the Morphe E20 really great for concealer as well okay today for under my eyes i'm going to be using kunafa to set that and i'm going to be using a damp beauty sponge to do the do mm. okay. okay to set the rest of my face i'm going to be using cinnamon bun by huda i know she had this for baking but the color looks like you know saying on camera it looks hella white but like in person it looks like my skin tone so we're going to be using this girl look at this beat now that powder is supposed to be like for really darker skin tones to bake under their eyes, but who says you couldn't use it as a face powder? Look at this, especially if you're in that, cause she don't have like a lot of, it. you know, it doesn't go really, really dark. She need to do more shades than that because the powder is bomb. Okay. Ah, catfishing at its best. Ah, oh, give me an award. Okay, I'm gonna try that same powder for my nose contour because, you know, I just want this color in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to use a different powder. Just use the same powder and chisel. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's soft and it's it almost looks natural. <laughs> you have to say almost. This powder smells so good. When I tell you I love her stuff, like, and I'm not on her PR. I'm literally forking out that $50 for that foundation. Huda is not selling y'all garbage. Like her stuff is really good. I am not gonna lie to you. So now it is time to bronzify because we still wanna catch Papi's eye, okay? This is Coco Nori by Fenty Beauty, okay? And she is beautiful, 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 very light. Do you see what's happening? Oh, she's pretty. I didn't think she was going to be this pretty. I was so used to Coco, uh, not Coco, Mami, my, what is it? Something ma Mami. Mami de papi de sin no porque no. Look at her forehead, look at her forehead. And with this, I can carry this on because it's not so red. Okay, back to the eyes. We are getting there. What, what do you want? I want to this off. No, I think that. So what are we gonna do? Are we gonna spruce it up? Or are we gonna play it safe? Mm. This little palette. I'm gonna take that middle shade right there and I'm gonna carry that into that top area right here on the, let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take that middle shade and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take that and just run that right up here. Very lightly though, not a whole lot. Can you even see what's going on? Girl, it looks good in person. And then I'm gonna take that light goldish shade right there I'm gonna put that in the tear duct. This still has like some pink hues in it, like so. Okay, for my highlighter today, <laughs> interestingly enough, it's not Juvia Slave. <laughs> we just feel like switching it up for y'all. Okay, I'm using the Milani Strobe something something, honey, Strobe Light. Okay, we're gonna do the Cupid's bow. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for my blush, this is by Beauty Bay. This is their actual brand and it's called Merlot and this is such a beautiful color. Look at this. I'm telling you, they just need to fix their customer service. They need to do better. And it's really pigmented, but it's so pretty on us brown girls. I know y'all might be tired of seeing this color, but this is Scorpio <laughs> by Juvia's Place, but it works, honey. I'm gonna mix it in with this one that I have going on here just to deepen it up. Okay, for the lipstick, I'm gonna be using Chic, also by Juvia's Place. And for my gloss, I'm going to be using So Glazed. And to morph everything together, we are going to use Morphe. <laughs> Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I really do like this. It's just lightweight. 
it's not meant to be like you know to seal your makeup and make it long lasting at least i don't think so it's just to you know bring everything together take away from that powdery look because we put so much powders on our face okay so let's get into these glasses really really quickly i have six pairs in front of me and a lot of tortoise going on so i'm just going to work my way through and i'm going to leave my favorite one for the last so i'm just going to pick these up at random they're all beautiful so let's just go ahead and go in so the first one i'm going to go in with is this claire one but these are really cute very elegant Claire frame a little bit of gold detailing going on little soup to whoop of gold honey full of class and a lot of sass honey look at her she is a beauty <laughs> okay okay next up i'm going to go into a half black half tortoise shell type of vibe with some super cute detailing on the side little gold dots going on right there this thing is tracking my face instead of the glasses, girl. A little gold dots going on on the sides right here as well. Super, super cute. These are prescripted, as you guys know. They're super pretty though, like they're just cool. And as you can tell, you can definitely wear color with your glasses, you see what I'm saying? Like you don't have to hide away and only do natural, like neutral colors when it comes to doing your makeup and wearing glasses. You can definitely do color, you see what I'm saying? And incorporate everything that's going on, you see what I'm saying? Girl, look at this, okay? The boss is going to give you a raise, okay? These are super cute. Okay, these next pair are very like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like the cat eye version with a little tortoise action. It's kind of like a female Malcolm X type of vibe. These are super cute. I really do love these. These are very lightweight. They're not touching your face under here. That's also a huge concern of mine whenever I do wear makeup that if it's touching my sh my cheeks because you know that's just gonna rub off your makeup they're not touching you see what I'm saying like these I really do like these these are just elegant classy and can be worn with a multitude of outfits a multitude of looks honey it's like <laughs> we did not come to play goes well with color you get what I'm saying like there's a lot you can do in these these are so pretty and did I mention affordable girl y'all better get into it okay let me tell you these people around here think I am rich I'll be switching out these glasses because like I said nobody knows what it is that I do you know they don't know nothing about YouTube so okay now we have a little tortoise with a little you know a little color block type of vibe going on on the side very bulky but I absolutely love these because they're just a statement piece like these do the talking for you like they are super duper pretty okay like the whole detailing there's a little bit of like a dip going on right here like as you can tell like it's just oh it's pretty look at it like it's gorgeous <laughs> like honey you did not come to play you came to slay okay you came to take all these checks away mm -hmm. okay these are super cute a little bit of stripe action going on like a cute like a really cute a pretty mauve color with tortoise effects this is just really really pretty super lightweight i just love these these are a statement piece they are just so pretty like i tell you all the glasses are just beautiful like even though i said i'm leaving my favorite for last like all of them are just bomb they, they don't play like they really over there stepping up the glasses game honey very flat type of detailing it is so it is so pretty i just love it okay last but not least these are truly my fave even though i love the other ones but this has a bit of a rainbow effect can you see that even though they are clear at different angles you can see the rainbow colors in them they are so okay now you can see them better like they are so 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 pretty you know the more you twist and turn you can actually see that rainbow effect i absolutely love these these are so fun and so playful these these are so pretty like even i'm, I'm looking at myself i can see more purple now you know like it's oh look at that can you see that you can't see that like there's a certain angle right here that i'm seeing nothing but purple but i can't get it to 
to show you <laughs> on camera but these are so so gorgeous and this you can see your makeup more i love clear eyeglasses but this one just this is just gorgeous there's this iridescent rainbow effect going on i absolutely love these like mm. Listen, y'all need to go ahead and check out Zilu. Okay, guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love how everything came out. Absolutely love the glasses from Zilu. Big shout out to them for always coming through and sponsoring your girl, helping out the channel. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys understood everything that I was saying about me, why I'm doing the thumbnails the way that they are. Those of you who get it. I really do appreciate you guys for sticking with me and understanding me like you guys got my girl You see what I'm saying? You got your girl back and I am so grateful for that and for those of you who don't understand I hope that cleared up everything if it is your first time here Go ahead and subscribe join the tribe come on in. We are a happy bunch We like to keep it nice and clean and fun inside of here like the video if you loved it share the video because sharing is caring and sharing does help me get out there like you know what I'm saying? Like, but if you ain't gonna do that, I understand. Like, I mean, do you. Okay, but um, if you love your girl and you want to help her out, share the video. Share it with your friends, your aunts, your cousins, your mom, whoever. Like, just share the video, okay? Tell them to come on in, especially for those who love makeup and beauty and all of that good stuff and want to enjoy all of that stuff with a good vibe. Send them on my way, okay? <laughs> Don't be stingy. Ooh, okay, follow me on all of my social media platforms, which is IG. Everything is under Savannah Silver. Yeah, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys really, really, really soon on the next one.